All right, so this is just a short video, real quick. Uh, pretty specific to the Escort guys or the uh, BG chassis guys. Um, if you buy the Energy Suspension bushing kit, it comes with sway bar bushings, but they're three quarter inch. Um, if you have a GT or a ZX2, the sway bars are a little bit larger. I think they're like seven eighths or something like that. Um, anyways, these don't really fit. Um, the GT or the ZX2 sway bars. So here's just a quick little how to make them fit type video. Basically, gonna take the bushing, take the uh, sway bar bracket. Yeah, you just take the sway bar bracket from the car, find something you can bolt the bracket down to, throw the bushing into the bracket. Conveniently, I happen to have a bolt that holds the uh, countertop down. And the biggest bit I could find was a 7 8. Um, like I said, I think the sway bar is just slightly bigger than that. But it should work. get the other side So you can see my uh, my bushings, you know, right here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm guessing someone probably put the wrong size bushings in there. And oh, it's not even tight. Look at that. But yeah, the bushings basically just smashed out the sides. So I figured while the engine was out, I'd go ahead and upgrade. I couldn't imagine doing this with the engine and the steering rack in place. It seems like it would be a nightmare. These are all nice and rotted out too. Drilled out bushings. Turns out uh, seven eighths or seven eight. Seven eighths is the perfect size. I wouldn't go any bigger than that. So yeah, getting that back in there is a pain in the ass. One eternity later. So, I don't know if you can see that little piece of yellow paint. I didn't do it, but someone else did. Um, thank God for that person. Because uh, when you have the sway bar completely loose, you don't necessarily want to... Um, when you have it completely loose like this, you want to make sure you get it back in the right position when you tighten these down, because it's going to be really hard to to slide this thing once these brackets are tight. If 
how dirty it is in here. Oh, there's that. I'll go ahead and do the outer links. Bolt. Washer. Pushing. Do pushing. Washer. Spacer. Washer. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. I have to force that in there. God bless America. This wouldn't be as hard if I hadn't have already installed the coilovers because the coilovers are holding the lower control arms up a lot higher. See if I can just sandwich this in there. Going close. Somehow I lost a wrench, like, in two seconds. Whatever. Oh. Really?